Hey everyone, what's going on? Physics here, back with another GTA 5 online video. Today I'm going to show you a really easy and fast money glitch that you guys can do to give you a lot of money in your bank account. So first, I want to give a big shout out to Stetson for helping me out in the video. One of my subscribers, cool enough to help me out in this video. Also, if you guys have not seen, I am doing a giveaway for the Gyotech headset for the Xbox 360. If you guys have not entered that contest, I'm going to give it away to one subscriber or follower so you guys can go check that video out. Link is in the description and also an annotation on the screen for you guys so you guys can go and enter that contest yourselves. Now in order to perform this money glitch, it's going to be really easy. All you're going to require is a motorcycle. You know, the more you have upgraded on it, if you have it upgraded maximum, obviously you're going to get more money. If you don't have it upgraded uh, maximum, then you won't get as much money, but you'll still get a lot more money than you would by playing Coveted or even uh, Rooftop Rumble. So what you want to do is you want your friend to wait for you outside of your garage. Now, your friend needs to be the one to invite you to his session. I used an invite-only session and I had my buddy Stetson invite me to the game. That way, it will work because if you are the host of the lobby, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to work. But nevertheless, what you're going to do is after your friend has invited you to an invite-only session, you are going to go inside of your garage and your friend is going to wait for you outside of your garage. Now what you will require is you will need a bike that is fully maximum upgraded to get more money and you will also need a regular bicycle as well. What you're going to do is have your bicycle also in the settings to have been set to passenger only for your friends to enter the vehicle because what your friend is going to do after you pull out with your motorcycle is your friend is going to hop on the back side of your motorcycle. He's also going to have to hop off, so what you need to make sure, like I said, is to have the settings set for vehicle access to passengers only. As you can see here, my buddy Stetson is getting on the back of the motorcycle, and I'm going to, to drive away immediately so he doesn't put on his helmet. Now once I have driven away a little bit, I'm going to park my motorcycle right there in that particular spot. You don't have to be exactly precise, but just keep it right there in that general area. You're going to go now inside of your garage, and what you're going to do now after you go inside your garage is you're going to pull out any bicycle that you have on the rack. Now once you have gotten your bicycle, what you're going to do is just take it outside by hitting, I believe it's the right D-pad, and you're going to take it outside of your garage. And what you want to do is just simply jump off of the motorcycle by hitting the Y button. And once you do that, your bicycle will actually disappear. Your friend should still be on the motorcycle this whole complete time, and then you're going to go and hop inside of the motorcycle. And now you're going to have to drive to the Los Santos Customs. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is your friend or nor yourself cannot get off of the motorcycle once you start driving it. So if you crash or if something like that happens, what's going to happen is the motorcycle will now be unavailable and you might and you're going to have to do this one all over again. So make sure you drive carefully, make sure you drive safely so neither you or your friend falls off of the motorcycle. Now once you get to the Los Santos Customs, what you're going to do is you're simply just going to drive inside. You don't have to buy anything else and once you do that, you can simply sell the motorcycle. Now like I said, if you had this motorcycle upgraded to its maximum potential, then you're obviously going to get more money. In this situation, I got about $64,000 which is really nice money considering that uh, doing you know, rooftop rumble or even coveted, you only get about 18 grand, I believe it is. So uh, you're getting about triple the money in about, you know, half the time. So that's pretty cool. And then afterwards, you can simply go back to your garage and you will notice that your vehicle has now been put back into the garage as if it never happened. The only thing you really do have to spend money on would be a bicycle. You have to buy a BMX bike, it's 800 bucks. You end up selling the motorcycle for 64,000. So, I mean, you do the math. It's pretty simple, and it's actually very, very, uh, a very, very good method to you guys to get some more money. So, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go inside of the garage so you guys can see that the motorcycle is, in fact, inside, as if we've never sold it, but yet you still have the money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to drop a like on the video. And if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe for more GTA 5 content. Also, if you guys are not already enrolled into the Gyotech giveaway, feel free to go ahead and join the giveaway. The video will be in the description down below, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. My name is Physics. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you on my next video.
Peace.